Hey, welcome to the channel. This is my 69 Chevelle build. This is going to show you exactly what I did in order to smooth and paint the Camaro dash that I fitted for the car. First thing is I fitted in those louvers there for my defroster. And how did I do that? Well, I welded them in with a Poly Vance welder. I used the, uh, I think it's ABS or something like that, gray rods. And it welded in really strong. Here I'm masking off where I don't want the body filler to go. I'm mixing up some fast glass. It's a product that Sherman Williams sells. It's sort of their line of, of fiberglass body filler, and it's a lot stronger than normal body filler. I've used it in a couple other videos, and you've seen on my TikTok feed and all that. It's just it's just stronger, you know, for more structural stuff. Any kind of anything bigger than like say an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch, you want to make sure it's nice and strong. And I wanted what I wanted to do is kind of fill that in and blend it in to where it looks like it's all part of the dash. Um, and so after I, I spread that all nicely, then what I do is I pull that tape off while that, while it's still nice and wet, but, uh, but not so wet. So, and, and the reason you do that, so then you get a nice hard line of what you don't want body filler in. Cause I don't want to get body filler inside those vents there. And after I did that, I hit it with 80 grit. I prefer to use 80 grit with most of my sanding when I start with plastic. If you go a little bit lower, it kind of furs up the plastic and I'm just not a really big fan of that. So I've just found it's easier to do a little bit extra work with the 80 grit. Yeah, 36 grit or 40 grit would have sanded this this little bit faster, but then I might have had to go back and do a lot more work. But anyway, I've tried sanding them just down with bare plastic, you know, and uh, that that works pretty good. It's it's a lot more work than really what you need if you just use a high build primer, which you'll see later on. So anyway here uh you know I, I put another coat because there were a couple little spots that i didn't quite like so i wanted to make them strong before i put like actual body filler on it this fast glass like i said it's just a lot stronger and a lot more durable it's nice and flexible so it's gonna make all those seams nice and perfect to where they won't crack later on and uh yeah so then i put it in the car because you want to kind of have it at the where it should be and then I used uh, the regular product. Now, this is a product that Sherwin also puts out. It's uh, called F-Grip. I, I, I like it. It's kind of like a fast grip. It's a fast drying body filler that doesn't really leave pinholes as long as you kind of mush your, your body filler together instead of just, you know, swirling it around the stick. You kind of want to smash it. And what that does, it, a lot of times it smashes out the bubbles. So for the straight parts, I use the nice block. You know, I use, uh, it's probably about a one foot block by, by like Dura block with uh, 80 grit and that keeps it a nice flat surface because if you don't you know you always want to try to use the, the biggest longest block that you can to keep it as straight as possible so that's what i did and i, I go over it a little bit later with some 220 grit you know before i'm going to prime it but the 80 grit is just it just cuts it down so nice and stuff like that the reason i'm masked off is because i don't want other stuff getting it elsewhere so here i'm using my new my new electric sander i really like this it's set up for a dustless system that I, I use the Makita right there. And uh, it, it does it does suck up regular sanding dust, but the plastic from the dash, it really wouldn't pick that up just because it's just, I think it's just too heavy to kind of pull through the sheet and stuff like that. So, but if you're going to use it in your garage or, or just, if you just want to cut down all the dust and you don't want to breathe that stuff in, then then a dustless system, it's, it's quite an investment, but it, it's really good. Now, this is the Merca Dexos. Uh, Daros, I'm sorry. I like it. It's extremely lightweight. It's kind of pricey. I think I paid around 600 bucks for it, which is kind of pricey for a sander considering that you can buy a 40 or $50 one from your local, you know, hardware store like Lowe's or Home Depot. That works just about as good. It just, it vibrates more and it doesn't quite oscillate the same, but this thing is so light. I mean, it is like crazy light. I tried the 3M product. 3M makes a new one. And I really wanted to love it. That's what got me into the dustless system, you know, with a few months back. And the thing just kept kept cutting out. I bought one. It lasted like a month or two. And it sanded great. I loved it. And I was like, wow, this really is a lot better than the $50 sander. It's just a big difference between a $550 sander and a $50 one. You know, you'd be like, that's a lot of price difference. So... I used it for about a month or two and then it just died. It just would not come on. I called up 3M and they're like, yeah, I'm sorry. It's a new product. We're sorry that it doesn't work. Send it back. We'll give you a new one. But I already contacted Amazon. They just refunded my money. So I was debating on buying another one. Anyway, I, I went and I got another 3M and, and the thing died within a couple weeks because I was going to just have a backup one, but that didn't work. Here I'm using my, my uh, 2K high build primer. I think it's FP... 
401, something like that. It, it, it's a it's a finish one product. It's a I, I like it a lot. It's a nice high build primer. Yeah, I find that a lot of times plastic like this, it kind of gets a little bit of a fur kind of edge to it. So I like to hit that first coat of, you know, actually two coats of primer. I like to hit that lighter with some 220 grit and make it all nice and smooth as possible. Uh, here I'm using my sander again. I really like this sander. It's just, it just makes such fast work of it. You know, you want to make sure that you don't stay in one spot too long. You want to keep moving around. And, and I would say that, uh, you know, I've been sanding with sanders for 20 years so it's not like i just started with this and uh, a lot of stuff i st i still hand sand just because you can't quite have the control like on the edges right there between the two humps on the dash you can't get that quite in there with a sander like you'd like to be able to keep it nice and straight so i kind of try to use blocks or or a little sanding disc i also use what's known as an interface pad it's a thin pad it's probably about a half inch thick and it's kind of like a basically a foam soft squishy pad that works really good to keep, you know, it's where you don't get high and low spots in something. And you always want to kind of run over with your fingers like you'll see me doing there. You can usually feel stuff. If this was going to be a gloss finish, I, I would I would most likely do another gu guide coat after my second coat of primer. But, uh, you know, and, and here I'm shooting the, the, the second coat, which is, uh, you know, the same stuff, the FP401. I think it's 401. It's, it's a 2K high bit high build primer it's the only one that finish one makes i believe and it, it's uh the fp 411 i think for the hardener uh, it's four to one ratio it's pretty straightforward i i you know i like to do two nice coats of it uh, the only problem with this to me is that there's no way to thin it out so it, there is no reducer in it so like a, a three-part like like my epoxy primer i can thin it out if i want to and spray it like glass smooth this you there's just no way to do that you get what you get so there it is check it out i'm really happy with it it's going to look really great it's going to be i'm thinking it's going to be a black with a satin clear tell me what you think what would you do with it hope you like my channel hope you follow the build hope you share with your friends hope you leave your comments and i want to thank everybody who who made this possible by following me so much on tiktok and encouraging me to upload videos there's my dash. Hope you like it, people.